Hi there, this is Yellow Jewelry and today I'm gonna make a video about the bow tie setting. This is the setting created by Miles McDonald. Check out his website, the art of wire for his amazing creations and also the Facebook page. He has more amazing tips uh, for the crystal settings. So today I'm gonna show you how I set three crystals, three crystals with the pointy bags and the pear shape. My crystals are five millimeters in diameter and the goal for this setting is to create equally even um, triangles for the crystal to sit in. And to do that, when you are a beginner, is the best way to create a small prototype a triangle like that. And then, this is going to be your measure for all the triangles you have. The wire I use for this tri triangle is a 9mm length. So... I unwrapped, unbended, how to say, this triangle to measure how long wire I will need to make my triangles even and the same size. So it's a 9mm for 5mm diameter stone. And uh, for this setting I'm gonna use 24 gauge copper wire. Uh, 20 centimeters and bend it in half also I'm gonna use 0 0.4 millimeter so it's 26 gauge copper wire both of them are round it is easier to work with uh, squared wire and half round wire but Today I'm going to show you how I do it with the round wire. So you bend your 24 gauge wire in half. It is not really necessary. We're going to cut this later. Um, but it, it helps to hold the wire ends together and create even, even triangles on both sides. I'm going to use my needle pliers and place it about uh, 2 centimeters away from the bent end. And then I'm going to bend my wires to the sides around my needle pliers, like that, to create two small loops over here. My loops needs to be smaller, so I'm gonna press it with my pliers to make them a little bit smaller to fit my crystal. Now, because I made this measurement over here, I'm gonna use it to measure how much wire I will need to create my triangles. So to do that, you just place a measurement near your wire and mark it with your marker just below below your measurement end like that do it with both sides all right so these two small loops are going to be a prongs which goes over your crystal. So we need to make similar prongs for the other side. To do that I am placing my pliers just above the mark point and bend my wires to the middle side like that. Press it a little to make your loop smaller and repeat with the other side as well yeah. 
here you go now you have two loops over here and over here we need to make a small prongs for the crystals so to do that you placing your pliers on a tip just the very ending of the bend loop over here and then bend the whole wire downwards oh. so you bend your wire downwards like that by holding the bend tip with your needle pliers and repeat the same stuff with the other side hold the pliers on the tip and bend it down like that so these two prongs gonna go over your stone you need to create similar prongs for the other side so place your pliers on the tip and twist it towards up to create this sitting for the crystal do the same with the other side here you go so now we have two similar sittings for the crystal my crystal has a pointy backing so I need to create a triangles for it to fit like that so to do that you need to bend exactly on the middle of the wire it is easier when you place your pliers just by the middle and bending with your hands this way you're not gonna miss the middle point I go so we have two similar uh, triangles and I also need to make these fires aligned with them horizontally so now it looks kind of like this so I need to lift it a bit and align them horizontally more or less we're gonna fix it later if we need so so now you can check your triangles by fitting your crystal inside start with the pointy side like that and place the other wire on the top like a cap here you go so it's a little bit too far away because my triangle is pressed too close so I need to open it more a little and the opening allows you to push it closer like this on both sides so you need to push it those two wires closer to lock the crystal inside 
the loops. Alright, so we're gonna keep going and create three similar triangles. Um, I need also to decide how much space I want to leave over here for the other triangle. And I want to leave a little bit wider space because I'm gonna bend my setting bend my setting like this and it's going to sit behind the stone so this is going to be the stone and my setting bend it like that behind the stone so more space over here let me bend on sharper angle I think I'm gonna leave around six millimeters Six millimeter on both wires hold it with my pliers and bend my wires wire ends to the sides again so you're bending to the sides around your uh, needle pliers tip and you're getting something like that you need the smaller loops, so I'm pressing them with my pliers. There you go. Now again, I'm gonna use my measurement. It helps me to make similar triangles. So, place a measurement just near your setting wire and mark it again with your marker just below just below the measurement ending like this and do the same with both sides so I mark my wire and the next step is to create a loops again. To do that, you will need to hold the wire just above the mark point with your needle pliers and bend the wire towards the middle. So you have two loops, one over here and one over here. Do the same with the other side. Bend the wire while holding just above the mark point and create another loop. So you have something like that. These are going to be your prongs for the crystal to hold. Now bend the wires down at a 90 degrees angle while holding the tip with your needle pliers. There you go. So now you have the little prongs for your stone on the one side. Do the little prongs for the other side. Like that. So this wire moves together with the prongs.
you hold the tip and you twist the pliers all right so now I need to create a triangle by bending it at the middle point place your pliers just nearby the middle and bend it to make a triangle like that I'm pressing the sides to make this bend a little bit sharper do the same with the other side and also align the wires horizontally so now you have two triangles close to each other we're gonna repeat the process to create the third triangle So bend the wires again to the middle side. Create little prongs for the crystal to cover. and then make triangles by bending at the middle here you go you have three triangles for your crystals and we're gonna start setting the crystals in first insert the pointy end of your crystal and then the round end and cap it with another wire end so it sits in between the prongs inside the your triangles take your weaving wire well the best wire for this job is the half round but 
round works just fine so you will need to wrap like at least two times with one end press it a little bit to make this wrap tighter and close it so make this wrap close to your crystal hang on now I need to cross this wire to the other side so you need to flip your piece towards the back side and when you finish over the top you need to cross it to the bottom of the crystal and start wrapping from the bottom okay let's push it together it also helps to create a tight setting wrap it at least two times just do not close it now and insert another crystal first start with the pointy end and place the cap Alright, so once you have another crystal in, then you can finish your wrapping. it over the back side of your crystal and wrap the other side two times and press it with your pliers to make this wrapping tight don't press it too hard because you're gonna make it two marks we don't want do you have a two marks? Here you go. So now we're gonna insert the last crystal. These crystals are not really small, like 5 mm diameter is a huge crystal. I saw Miles doing this setting with the 3 mm diameter crystals. This is crazy. So you wrap all the way. Make sure you have same count of wraps when you start it and in between the other crystal. I have six wraps over here and I have seven. Whew, not good. So I'm wrapping once. So I have six over here and six over here. Now I need to close my setting by wrapping the end of the wires together. Here you go. We have tight setting 
for all three crystals with even triangles Now I'm going to use this setting and bend it a little I'm going to insert into my pendant over here on the bottom side There you go, you have your setting. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you on my next video. Bye.